Why is COVID-19 different to the flu virus? COVID-19 is a different type of virus. A different type of virus which has, it has a different pattern of presentation and it is a bit aggressive and it is clinical uh, consequences are also different because it's mainly um, involving the lungs which will occupy most of the lung tissue and that will prevent the space for breathing. Can you describe your day as a medical consultant specific to do with COVID-19? I hope that people will adhere to the government guidelines as we stop from big crowds and stay indoors. Stay indoors at all times, as you keep yourself safe. Are you ready to deal with what COVID-19 is bringing? We also got due support from the government, and we think that we are doing uh, a moral uh, duty as to protect the society and the community from this uh, epidemic until it is over. We are allowed to come to work as to rescue the population from this wicked infection. Make sure you follow Street Mike on Instagram, all social medias, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, and, and how about you saying something as well? You You're shy. You know. How can you be shy when you was chatting to me no. just now? Give me a thumbs up, give me a comment and follow. If you like Street Mike's videos, give him a thumbs up and also follow and share. And also comment down below. Big up Street Mike. Mm, big up Street Mike. Come on guys, join them. Big up Street Mike. Big up Street Mike. Big up Street Mike. So, good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Dr. Hashim Issa. Hashim Abdullah Mukhtar Issa, yeah. What has it been like for you mm -hmm. since the World Health Organization deemed COVID-19 as a pandemic? It's very unfortunate for uh, us to deal with COVID-19 uh, pandemic, which has spread in several countries, including the European countries. Uh, UK, Ireland, France, Germany, Italy, and the rest of the European countries, including um, some other uh, countries like the United States of America. And uh, the virus has originated from China, of course. And uh, we are now have to deal with this pandemic by all the precautions which has been announced by UK government, which are uh, actually, from my own assessment, are working, and we will be able to defeat this virus uh, should we um, adhere to the guidance of the uh, National Health Service, how to deal with it, social distancing, and using sanitizers when you are dealing with, and also curfew not to go to the big crowds like cinemas or pubs or uh, supermarkets unless there are some measures where people will keep about one meter from each other. This is going to work and this is how we deal with pandemics. Of course we have so many patients who are tested positive for COVID-19 and we have got the facilities uh, to deal with it. The hospitals, uh, hospital admission with COVID-19 has steadily increased over the last number of weeks and uh, we are not at the peak yet, but we look forward to us to pick it up and we'll be able to defeat this uh, ugly virus and to save our communities, to save the population from uh, the havoc that's wreaked by this virus. Where you work, tell me, are you ready to deal with what COVID-19 is bringing? Yeah, the, the measures have been taken uh, in all hospitals in the UK as to uh, deal with this uh, crisis, which I could name it. And uh, we've got enough uh, front door staff so as to deal with this. Uh, there's a full collaboration of all uh, medical team, different works, as to work together 
and help to uh, contain, eradicate COVID-19 as time goes. We are still in the middle of it, but uh, things will start looking uh, promising once we peak the infection, which we haven't reached that point yet. I hope that people will adhere to the government guidelines as to stop from big crowds and stay indoors. Stay indoors at all times as to keep yourself safe, keep the distance and try to save yourself and your family by staying indoors. Don't go out unless it is really, really necessary. We are allowed to come to work as to rescue the population from this wicked infection. We are allowed to the hospitals to run as usual with the highest capacity as to uh, um, absorb all the very ill and the ill patients. As time goes, we will see um, some sort of improvements in a way that the rate of infected people will start to get down and the rate of admission, of course, will get down. Why is COVID-19 different to the flu virus? The flu virus is a seasonal is a seasonal virus which comes every season, and it is a different type of virus for which we, as health professionals, we've got vaccines for them, and we are we know there are clinical presentations, incubation period, and the consequences of the flu virus, which is usually comes during the winter. People would get vaccinated. Those people who are vulnerable immune compromise and those people who have got different medical conditions would get vaccinated in about September, November and uh, usually it, people get used to the flu uh, flu virus whereas this COVID-19 is a different type of virus a different type of virus which has, has a different pattern of presentation and it is a bit aggressive and it is clinical our consequences are also different because it's mainly um, involving the lungs which will occupy most of the lung tissue and that will prevent the space for breathing. That will give uh, a patient a struggle when he starts getting out of breath and having fevers and start coughing. Then, uh, whereas the uh, flu doesn't, doesn't uh, necessarily cause these fevers and uh, spreading into the lungs that fast as the COVID-19. Can you describe your day as a medical consultant specific to do with COVID-19? Uh, it's quite busy actually. Uh, we've been busy for uh, since we started this uh, flu uh, pandemic. And I would start my day from 7 o'clock and it will finish late in the afternoon. And then there will be another rota for other doctors to come and take over from us. Uh, the uh, rate of admissions have uh, significantly increased, particularly concerning COVID-19. Otherwise, it is business as usual, and we are well trained and up to uh, the jobs. How is all of this extra workload impacting on you mentally and physically? The medical staff and the nursing staff are well um, trained how to deal with crises like this. Nonetheless, there are some other colleagues who, some of the colleagues about maybe one in five, one in six, they will get sick themselves and they'll have to go and self-isolate for two weeks before they restart again. And that will put a bit of a strain on the number of staff uh, who are working. Uh, in regard to the support we're getting from the community, we got a huge support from the community. We also got a huge support from the government. And we think that we are doing uh, a moral uh, duty as to protect the society and the community from this uh, epidemic until it is over. I would concur with what you've just said. You, your team and the NHS in general are doing an excellent job in protecting 
the community. But tell me, how did you feel last week when you saw everyone around the world, this great country was clapping the NHS? Very, I'm very appreciative of what they have done. I mean, the UK public are very appreciative of what we are doing. We are actually doing uh, day and night as to make sure that things are kept away from uh, affecting the vulnerable population. We thank you very much for the support that you are giving to your health care staff. And hopefully we will not let you down. We will do all what we can as to fight this virus until the end. A lot of people who are self-isolating, a lot of them also are living on their own and they're suffering from mental health issues. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give those? I would advise for people who are vulnerable to stay put, stay well isolated because your life is worth it. Don't risk it coming out unnecessarily unless you are coming out to get medicine from the pharmacy or you're coming out to go to the shops or you are coming out for something emergency or you can't work at home and your job requires you to be uh, working uh, in that case then of course we would know those people who are staying at home there are some economic implications but at all price anything can be resolved if we stay safe and pass this period of pandemic. How are you personally feeling in regards to everything that's going on? You personally? I feel it is a disaster that has fallen upon our shoulders, that we have to deal with a virus which is crippling the life of all communities across the world. I feel that the economy is going to collapse, Nonetheless, but we have to do all what we can as to keep these communities safe. Uh, the most important thing is our lives. Most important thing is to keep ourselves safe. And most important thing is to practice social distancing and uh, practice all the precautions that avoid us from getting the infection spreading more and more. By social distancing, we are, we will try to uh, reduce the amount of people who got infected and of course by so doing we will reduce the epidemic itself or the pandemic itself. I feel very sorry for those who lost their life. I feel very sorry for the uh, figures which are quite alarming day by day in terms of the morbidity and the mortality. The people who, got, who lost their lives, people who got ill and they are in the hospital, they are in different hospitals seeking for medical advice and seeking for help. Uh, we, the support that we are getting from our hospitals is to make sure that the patients are not hemodynamically compromised, that the oxygen levels in their system is safe, and if they require some support, of course, we will be able to help with that. Make sure you follow Street Mike on Instagram, all social media, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, and, and how about you saying something as well? You You're shy. Go. How can you be shy when you was chatting to I'm me not. just now? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. And follow. If you like Street Mike's videos, give him a thumbs up. And also follow and share. And also comment down below. Big up Street Mike. Mm, big up Street Mike. Come on guys, join in. Big up Street Mike. 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 I love you. Big up Street Mike. Big up Street Mike. Big up Street Mike. Why must you big up street mate? Because you're the man. <laughs> <laughs>